while a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. GSP is four years his senior. Masvidal's one inch taller. GSP will have the two inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's a first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Jorge Gamebred Marcina. And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, George. at all times on a nice clean safe fight touch gloves so back your corners come out fighting they touch him up and we are underway ready Start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus low rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Opens with the left hand and lands flush. And well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the turn. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, he heard a bell of the jab. Connects with a right. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll 
soften him up. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by George St. Pierre. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. And he landed the right hand there. Masvidal's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, he's going for his arm now. The Kamor is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He's going to chase the submission finish. Oh, there's a tap. He got the finish. What a beautiful Kimura finish by this great fighter. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain. When you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another guy. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like they're going to break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, a man that needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and your winner tonight by way of spectacular submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. We claim the winner by tap out and to the future UFC Hall of Famer, George St. Pierre adds to his legend tonight. Absolutely incredible that he could step away from the game for four years, come back, and pick up precisely where he left off. Congratulations to one of the best to ever do it, George St. Pierre.